All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, hopefully, we are live this afternoon just for a quick, like, two hour stream, something around that time. Um, but we have, I'm going to see Guardians of the Galaxy again tonight. My dad, man, my dad, God bless his soul, he's going in for an operation. So, wish Papa C in the best of luck on Friday. But we're going out for a meal tonight. We're going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy 3. It's his first time seeing it, it's my second time because I'm very keen to see it again as well. I think he's really going to like it. Um, but yeah, uh, what we're doing today, we we are so goddamn close to Paragon now on the free-to-play account, man. It is absolutely ridiculous. And I was I was looking around um, 8.2 yesterday evening, and I did the math with the, the new side event that's coming out later this evening, getting a little bit more tier 6 basic, and also hitting all five of these nodes... So we are going to have to do on the final stream, which is probably going to be like Friday or over the weekend, uh, the Bahamut boss with like the armor node as well, which I've heard isn't too bad, but makes the fight a little bit more annoying. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of nodes, man, where you just look around and there's like, you know, there's like half a tier six basic, mate. This is just absolutely nuts. And this is, I think, like more or equal to the amount of tier six basic that you get for like doing 100% of like a monthly side event. For one, one goddamn path, mate. And uh, it looks like all of these paths seem doable. They're all a bit more tricky than the um, uh, some of the easier paths that we did yesterday. And they all have caveats which are going to make them, yeah, a little, little bit of a challenge. But uh, we're close, man. We got our first rank four. If you missed it yesterday, we took Mole Man up with the uh, Eternity of Pain gem. 100% uh, we got a three to four gem there. And also, just doing the completion, I actually managed to get enough resources. If we have a look at... Uh, just on Black Widow here, you know, I've got all of the um, uh, the tier 6 and the tier 3 to take another character up. So I need to form three more tier 6 basics. So that's the primary thing I need here. Um, and I think it's just like one more tier 3 alpha. I've got to get the appropriate T5CC. And I need a lot of tier 5 basic. However, uh, tier 5 basic is like candy, man. We can get like five of it instantly, very cheap in the BG store. Uh, for like a stack of 5k, we've got almost like, you know, uh, 40k, because I'm trying not to spend any marks till we get Paragon in the store updates, but again, if it gets me to Paragon, dude, and I only need to spend 5k marks, that's a pretty good deal, and there's also a few nodes as well, uh, a few paths in Act 8 1 that give us like so much tier 5 basic, like I think it's about one and a half for certain ones, uh, so yeah, we're, we're gonna give this uh, a bit of a try today, but what's up chat, hopefully you're doing well, massive love to Jake, uh, champion, uh, Godarag, uh, Arjun, Sullyman, Paul, Vince, May, Simeon, Gladius, Shu, John, Nitro, Mahalis, Morel, Deman, Gordon. Thank you all very much for tuning in today. I certainly do appreciate that. Yo, what's up, Scott? Thank you very much, sir. Genuinely love you being back to see you, even if, it's, even if it's just part time. The community wasn't quite the same without you. Dude, it's been very fun to be back. I really, really do enjoy doing the, the free to play challenge, man. And this one has been, this one's been the most fun so far, because it's kind of been like the, well, we, we've definitely had our problems of like the account getting hijacked and everything. But in comparison to previous free-to-play accounts, you know, I had to wait months and months to accumulate resources. Um, and this one's quicker in comparison. It's still like, you know, so much slower than just, okay, it's the whale account. It's time to get swiping, boys. But, you know... It's actually been moving at a really, really nice pace, despite everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying that, dude. I'm enjoying that. Right, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, let's buckle up. And dude, I, uh, I, I had so much fun uh, editing the highlights of that stream uh, yesterday. That Bahamut boss was awesome. I really, really like it. On reflection, I was a bit, a bit too confused and I should have done more research on the final phase. I didn't really get... Uh, if I were to give anybody advice, um, on that boss, it's like, don't underestimate just how annoying the final phase is. <laughs> just make sure you know what you're doing going into that. Um, but you also need to know the rest of the fight as well. But that final phase, man, uh, definitely threw me a little bit. Okay, so I've actually tested out all of the, the paths that we're going to attempt today. At least the four, uh, tier five basic ones. So this one, we need to, um... Punish a heavy attack, disarm, and then stun the opponent. And then our special attacks apply passive shocks, and then we deal big damage. So that's that's pretty much it against this one. So this one isn't too bad. Fingers crossed. We'll see, boys. 
Okay, there we go. We punished it. And then if I get the passive stun... Oh, actually, it needs to be an actual stun. Okay. So we get an actual stun. We steal the weapon here. And then if we go one, two, smash that down. We apply two passive shocks. And then this increases Venom's overall damage taken by a significant amount. And then we can charge this up. I thought Charvers would be really good for this pass, just due to her uh, ability to, you know, chuck up a load of specials and gain power uh, quite substantially. But also, the more power you have, the stronger the shocks are, and the longer they last. Uh, so yeah, overall, that was that was pretty good. <laughs> that one, this one, in theory, Venom's probably the easiest fight on it, but it doesn't seem like that difficult of a path. I just cursed myself, man. I've totally just cursed myself, but you know, it is what it is. We're, that, that was a great first fight, you know? I got clapped on so many fights. Um, you just got to be out and in quick. Get the stun. Okay, we got it now. And then Hulkling. Hulkling, in theory, should be quite good for this as well, because he has many, many hits on his specials. You can see we're very rapidly applying shocks to our opponent here. And then we just got to race up to a special two. Just while we have... Dude, I absolutely love these, like... You know, you disarm and then you steal the opponent's node. Um, the opponent's weapon. Which is, is the node. So you just disarm them and you, you take their node for your own. I think that kind of design, man, is crazy cool. Okay, these should be some pretty big shocks. Um, We may be able to go in and finish. I, I think we should be good here. Yeah, let's go for it. So yeah, this path... I think we did the... um, What was it? The block path? Uh, that one wasn't too bad in all fairness. I'm also going to try the Morning Star boss in comparison to Massacre here, because I didn't enjoy the uh, the Massacre fight yesterday. That was a bit, bit rubbish, boys. Bit rubbish. And there we go, man. Is Travis good unawakened for offense? Um, I, you know what? I actually don't know anything about her awakened ability. That's how much of a new I am when it comes to Travis. Uh, however, I do know that. Even Unawakened, I really enjoy playing her. And my one, one's rank 3, but not fully maxed out yet. I think if you get a 7-star dude, big win. Big, big win. She's so good with a striker as well. Because you can, like, interrupt... Um, what is it? You can interrupt the second hit of the heavy. And then just chain on, like, mad. Oh, yeah, I need to activate the node here. I thought I was just fighting a regular Vision Arcus. Okay, I think I'm actually going to get to my special 2. Just because it's going to make the shocks... A lot stronger, and they're going to last a lot longer. Plus, it completely shuts Vision Arcus down, so I think it's the right play here. Okay, big shocks. Oh, dude, we got eight hits on that. Look at those shocks, mate. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's so much more value uh, on Black Widow with the, um, the SB2 versus the, uh, the Special 1. If I can literally just get one more, I was going to say one more special to do, but that was, that was over. If you have like any characters, right? I'm just trying to think. Chat, help me with this one. Who are the characters with the most hits on their special one and special two? Like not actually you generate combo hits, because I know there's certain characters that kind of inflate their meter a bit but actually have the most, like, applications. Uh, are there any with, like, 10 plus on a special? I'm just trying to think. You got, like, Medusa's special too. I think that's got quite a few. I don't know if that's more than eight, though. Yeah, I, I totally forgot how many hits that were. I always remember that was, like, so many hits, though. But yeah, guys, what is what are the most hits? Does anybody know that off the top of their head? Come on, guys. Let, let's Somebody impress me with their knowledge there. And how many hits as well? That Type the champion... And the amount of hits. Oh. Viewers, 10 hits in the special one. Okay, that's good. That's a good shout there. Um, how many does uh, Penny Parker have? And Apoc. I don't think Apoc has... Doesn't have more than eight, does he? But Quicksilver, Quicksilver's valid. Quicksilver's very, very valid. Yeah, I imagine Quicksilver would be pretty damn uh, nice. 
But yeah, I, I need I need to know the numbers, guys, so we can compare here. Because I uh, I can't do all the uh, the math off the top of my head. I've just forgotten what how half these specials exactly connect. Um, but yeah, that was that was pretty good. I think we'll we'll try Black Widow again for the next one. What's that? Icarus's ten hits on the special two. Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot he actually does have a really long special two, doesn't he? Okay, we need to punish a heavy attack. Then all I need to do is stun. And then this Magneto has the reverse specials, so special 2 is a little bit easier to uh, evade in comparison. If you would like to throw it though, it appears to be a bit of a different question. Come on, mate. Fantastic. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'd, I'd kind of be curious to see, <laughs> see Quicksilver on this path. I'm sure like MCOC noob or somebody's done like a guide of all the uh, most hidden champions. But were there any MVPs that you guys used uh, for this path? Did you, did you bring in the Quicksilvers, the pennies? Oh, I think Cable actually has quite a few. Cable's also got the uh, advantage of, what is it? He's got the power gain that can proc. Um, so, yeah, I can see that being quite nice. To be fair, Hyperion, I guess for the, the power gain SP1 spam, uh, it's probably pretty juicy here as well. If you are lucky enough to get the you know, six-star Hyperion, uh, it seems like a pretty good time. Seems like a pretty good time. Yeah, after after seeing how Black Widow interacts, I think, you know, we got a Cosmic Matrap, man. <laughs> I think we'll, we'll use a bit of Black Widow here. Right? Okay, let's disarm this node. Okay, I can interrupt that one uh, mid-heavy. Perfect. And now I'm going to try and just bait out the special one. Oh, I do need Stun Nova. That's a, a little bit more of a challenge. I guess one thing we can do here, which I probably should do, is uh, heal up. Am I going to get clapped here? No, no, no. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, I'm going to change to Blood Stance. Get the special two off. Then we got Mega Damage Amplifier. I don't think we crit on, like, anything there, man. I don't really remember Nova having, like, crazy high crit resistance. I'm not too sure if that was just a tad on the unlucky side. Come on, big crits. That's all right, mate. We still finished that fight with 80%. Decent. Yeah, if I was to go back and do completion again, I'd probably take this path. <laughs> this this path is just this is uh feels like easy dubs at this point, man. Um okay, we'll have a bit of Hulkland action. Why not, boys? Why not? Joe Fix it. Oh Joe Fix has 12 hits on the special one. Oh god. I know where I like when that seven star Joe Fix it comes out. I don't actually is he out? He might be on the basic one. Yeah, I think he is out, actually. Okay, I know where I'm going with that seven-star Joe Fixit showcase now, boy. Let's get it. Joe Fixit gods here for one very quirky node. Ah, oh, no, I played, played like ass there. Okay, this man loves throwing his heavy attack. Did we actually disarm him now? I don't think we did. I don't think we were quick enough. Okay, I got him. Got the shocks on him. Oh, this could be jammy. Yep. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Get the crit. Get the crit. We got handle. We got handle. We got handle. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, let's go, mate. Let's go. You know, professional gamer, boys. Professional gamer. Let's get it. Um... Hmm, who do I want for the next matchup? So again for the Morning Star boss. She's got like a double bleed node. Um I think I'm actually gonna bring in a Mortal Hulk, maybe, as the The last one. It's either Colossus or a Mortal Hulk. I'm kinda of feeling like tunneling it with a Mortal Hulk might be fun. And I think we should be able to do that, right? 
because it's just cow chops. Uh, human torch would probably work as well, but we're gonna. Who are we gonna get out? Um, Chavez isn't very bursty. That's our problem. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna get Chavez out and bring in uh, just a more hog for fun here. So this one, there's also, there's Caltrops, there's Bleed Off the Morning Star, and there's also like a, every six seconds you're going to get Cold Snapped? Is it Cold Snap? Or like the Iceman Detonate debuffs. And if you intercept, then you transfer those onto Morning Star. Um, anything above 10% here on this fight would, would be a W. You know, it doesn't go without saying, boys, but we've we've had better starts. <laughs> that was uh, it's not too epic, eh? Okay, we we've actually still got a little bit of uh, extension with Heimdall. Okay, that was. If we had a better start, dude, I think that would have actually been a solid. Um, it would have been close to. About 40%. I just I just choked on that opening parry, man. That was really bad. And now we got uh Black Widow. I need to make sure I don't go out of bleed stance though. Or is it knocking her down the uh transfers? Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe there is no transfer. I thought there was. Ah. <laughs> okay, I thought there actually genuinely was a transfer. Is there is there a way to transfer those? Um, or my my big trip in. Every six seconds you get a frostbite. Um blocking the defender causes. All frostbites on the attacker to unpause, intercepts in the defender's dash, transfers all unpaused. Frostbites on the attacker to the defender. Uh... Child, tell me where I'm failing here, man. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that would uh, be doing it. Okay, it's alright. I'm just getting a little bit of damage here. She's got a special attack, so I'm not going to be able to uh, intercept. Might be able to get this though. Yeah, she's got power gain. Oh, dude, that power gain is really annoying. Hmm. I'm just trying to think what my best option is. Hulk, actually, Hulk, we we do have a, a pretty generous amount of um, a gamma radiation. So maybe just kind of barreling it with Hulk and 20% revives. Maybe the way to uh, finish this fight off, eh? Or is it like incepts and don't block? I don't know if I die a bit too quick with Hulk though. Mm. It it works. I think a, a slightly bigger revive would be would be better. Maybe maybe a forty percent or something. Okay, so I need to let her hit my block first to unpause it, and then I intercept. Okay. Okay, nice. And then I um. God, that's a lot, a bit to manage, eh? Yeah, this isn't going to be the best play, but at least we get some damage out and value out of my man. <laughs> so we'll take it. Um, okay, we're not dead technically here. Because um, we got Heimdall saving our ass. Oh, okay, well, it just nullified it anyway. How did she nullify that? Was that, I don't know. Whatever, mate. Whatever. Okay, I think we've easily got this in a team revive, though. And that's not bad. That's I'll happily take that. 120%, one team revive. 
Gets this Morning Star boss. I think that's cheaper than what I did the Massacre in. I can't dash back because of the uh, the Caltrops node here. Okay, I think, do we break through this? Yeah, we do. Again, I can't dash back because of Caltrops. Uh, I th feel like these things are about to explode and kill me. <laughs> I like how my character died right, but the striker was still going. I swear for a couple of hits, man. I swear. We were, we were slugging it. Um, team Revival, 220%. That's a tough one. I think, I think 220% uh, would be a little bit more optimal here. Even like three of them, because twenty percent, sir. Uh, yeah, they're not they're not too bad to farm back. They do come back quite quickly, and there's also like limited scenarios where twenty percent are more useful as long as I can get it down to, hopefully anyway. Oh no, that sucks. We actually didn't have enough. Uh, this is something I didn't check. Much to my detriment is we didn't have enough. Uh, what was it? Didn't have enough thingy. Um, okay, 40%. And then, like, I'll heal him up a little bit. And then that should be enough to finish it off now. Oh, dude, that's so annoying. We like one. We are one Gamma Rage short of actually proccing the immortality. Because you need 15, and we had 14. So, that sucks. Come on, mate. No, dude, no, we are so close. <laughs> dude, come on, mate, come on. Oh, that's so annoying. We got 14 here as well. Oh, goodness. Okay, another 20% another revive. Look, your boy tried to, like, 1,000 IQ this, and it turns out my IQ firmly rests at 5, so... Oh, it is what it is, right? We'll get a, a little, little bit more, a little, just to make sure we can get to fifteen and at least trigger the immortality, man. Oh, that's so annoying. As, as well, if I hadn't have uh, missed up that parry at the start, that would have been it. Or caught the end of that combo. Okay, I'm at sixteen. It should proc. There we go. <laughs> we'll take it, mate. We'll take it. Didn't even need the prop. 1% finish. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Um, yeah, I think with all the, the world power in the world, uh, Heimdall probably wasn't going to be able to get that one. But there we go. That's the the first of the uh, the fragment stacks. So we'll take it. I think that's still a great trade for like a few 20% uh, revives. And I think it's like three 20% revives and one 40%. So yeah, still a dub. That's like still 100%. Um, Thronebreaker EQ T6. So yeah, that's uh, that's dope. Okay, the next path actually looks a bit harder, um, but still doable, boys. Still doable. So it's in this one. I think it's in this one. Quest number three, and it's the middle. Okay, so this one you need to like is really weird. You need lots of debuffs on the opponent, so you need to. Quickly get up to like uh, three or four. And then they throw their special attack. You block it. You gain Mega Fury. 75% attack rate for 20 seconds. This stacks up as well. Very, very overpowered. And you hit like a Saiyan God and demolish everything. So this one um, also has some really tricky opponents. I think the, the Rintra is pretty bad. The Hyperion's annoying. Um... The Chavez as well. I kind of think Human Torch MVP here, but we'll uh, we'll we'll see. I think we got a few other options as well. We just need again characters that can quickly apply lots of debuffs to the opponent, um, and also Heimdall. I need to remember what boss I'm going for. I think it's the uh, the cosmic option for the boss. Plus, I think I wanted um, Odin as well. 
don't know how Rintra does here, to be fair. Okay, so I tested out... Uh, Torch was, like, absolutely insane for this. Mole Man worked really, really well in my testing. So I don't know if I just want to focus in on uh, kind of these three. And go Mole Man, because we can get the big special to Claire. We can use heavy attacks, get debuffs up mega, mega easy. Plus hit super hard with the special two. We got Heimdall. And then I just, I need to think about um, what I'm going to use to get the boss down as well. And it is the, uh... oh no, it's the Ronin here. Sorry, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, it's the Cosmic. This this one ain't bad at all. But I do want to swap one of the other characters in for Odin. And then I want to pre-fight the Hulkling. While also having Heimdall as well. So we're going to use Torch, I think, Black Widow, Mole Man for the path. And we, we should be good there. But Titania, Hit Monkey, I think all of those will work uh, uh, pretty nicely there. But Torch were pre fight. I did some testing on the Mangog. And if I can play well, uh, just shreds. Just does a really, really good job. So yeah, let's let's give it a go. This seems like a uh, yeah, very, very torch friendly path here for sure. Okay, so. Bait out specials, block the specials. That's kind of that's kind of just the core of the node, really, isn't it? Just bait out the specials, block the specials, get debuffs on. Don't use torches pre-fight, because then that takes away his debuffs and replaces it with passives, so pre-fight actually bad. Alright, let's see what we can do. You should get some passive power gain here. So we actually got two Furies. I need to try and block those a little bit closer. You can see our damage is already uh, pretty damn spicy. Right, come on, Mangog. Let's get a special one out of you, fella. Come on, Chief. Come on. Oh, no. Slightly unfortunate. Oh, okay, he's unstoppable now, and unblockable. Okay, so I don't want to try and block that, that SP1. That's a bad time. Oh, he's unblockable for this one as well. Um, I kind of lost a bit of ground here. Where did I get the synergy from, man? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I, I may be able to do this on like the, the next one. A lot of heat charges now. Alright, let's fire this off. Yo, we got some super chats, man. We got Rockstar Scholars. Just got Thronebreaker last night. Big thanks to your GM fight guide. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. And then we've got the living god himself. The man of legends beyond legends, Jim Barino. Thank you very much, sir. That that makes you our blubberiest whale of the day. The biggest blubberiest boy. Thank you, sir. I look forward to uh, spending a lot of time on with you on Discord over the next few weeks. <laughs> but there we go. Mangog straight in the bin. Turbo charge the damage at the end. And let's get Jim Barino up there. As our, as our blobbery spoil the stream. Damage is stacking up. Yeah, it probably goes um, quite nicely. But I do feel like this is a, uh, a path where it's going to be most optimal if we probably use healing potions on Torch. We get that man, you know, fully ramped up on some of the Mystic fights. Because, it, to be fair, it's mainly like Rintra that I'm worried about. Because Rintra is a massive pain in the ass. So, we'll see. Mangog actually was mega annoying as well. Like, there was so much upside on that unstoppable, unblockable there. So, fellas, appreciate the super chats. Thank you all very much for the support. And Santi coming straight in with the 12 euro super chat to snipe the blubberiest well of the day. That, Santique, thank you very much. I, I certainly do appreciate that, right? I think that converts into about, that's about 14 American dollars or something like that. So <laughs> absolutely denying Jimbo there. Santique, thank you very much. Jim Barino, thank you. And Rockstar, thank you. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Let's move on to the uh, the Phoenix matchup next. Um, Actually, for Phoenix, um, actually, I'll try Black Widow. I tested out Mole Man on Phoenix just to make sure he was viable. 
Uh, but Phoenix, I got a bit of a weird strategy with this one in particular, because there's not too many hits to block on the special one, but there's loads of hits to block on the special two. But then the plan is you wanna you wanna kind of overload her. We knock her down. And we also need to keep uh debuffs up as well. Alright, please do not use that special one. Okay, nice. So you wanna get special two, and then we wanna block that special two. At close proximity, so this is a bit tricky. Okay, nice. See, we get six of these. I need to get debuffs up ASAP. Oh, please don't give too much power. Okay, nice. We're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, I guess as well, the interesting thing is, even if we do take a bit of damage from the, uh, the Thorns node, we can quickly regenerate a lot of that back. Oh yeah, she's got the protection now, so that's why I crazy fury stacks, but I was like, where's the damage? Um, this is this is a bit sketch, boys. We've actually still got a way to live through it with Heimdall on the team. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Yo, Jibberino coming back. Don't play with me, dot, dot, dot. I'm him. Damn, man. You absolute legend. Thank you very much, sir. Let's get you up, back up there. Blubber is well out of the day, sir. Would not be taken down. <laughs> okay, we've got her revive coming in at 1%. Need to make sure we get back. And then we get just finish off the match. Jim. Unbelievable, dude. Thank you very much. It's a fierce, there's a fierce, fierce battle being fought here for the blubberiest well already. But uh Hulk went Hulk went too crazy yesterday, man. That was absolutely mental. Uh 8.2 completion stream. End on a light to power steal. Is that is that part of the node? Good to know, dude. That's good to know. Hmm. You are actually right there. I should have... I was too distracted by chat that I forgot that I could switch over to Poison Stance to get the drain. But that is... Uh, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Right, next fight, I think we use... Uh, let's use Mold Man. Dude, Punisher's going to be... This is going to be a crazy node. Usually, you're not excited to see Punisher because of um, all of the hits. But every single hit now on this fight is going to be a Fury. Oh my goodness, <laughs> dude. Uh, wait, wait, one second, one second. Uh, <laughs> Scott, what the hell, mate? Guys, this is nuts. Scott has just come in. He's come into this whale war just with that the $50 super chat. Dude, what the... Thank you so much, Scott. Thank you so much, Jim Barino. Thank you so much to everybody. Just um, max bid in today, man. What the hell? Okay, Scott. We, we got to get you up there, sir. Blubbery as well today. Thank you very much. Certainly do appreciate that. Guys, we're barely like, barely like half an hour into the stream, mate. <laughs> I can't take this, man. <laughs> well, this is just a chill farming stream. But thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Okay, right. Let's, uh, let's get you up there. Blubbery as well, centered. And let's, let's get back to, uh, Getting clapped. I accidentally pushed uh, Punisher a bit too high on this one. Oh, that's fine, dude. That's fine. I dodged that last hit, which again wasn't wasn't too optimal there. But look at this now, mate. We got seven Furies. I think 500% more attack, so <laughs> we can we can just get Waylon. I think yeah. Another combo on, dude. This guy's dead. Whoa, that was great, dude. My man just cleaned up there. Hmm. It's kind of making me want to try. Is using Momad for Rincher a mistake? Probably. Do I also really want to try it? Yes. Rincher's not bleed immune though, right? He ain't got no immunity to bleed. Um, there's probably something that makes this a bad matchup, but I enjoyed that last matchup so much that I'm willing. I'm willing to take the gamble here. That we just uh, that we just clean up.
Okay, right. There we go. Okay, I I need to I need to block this. So I I'm uh, I'm too flustered. So I need to stay close range to Rintra. Want to block all the hits of that special one? Come on, mate. There we go. Fantastic. Yeah, that's really good. Wait for him to tap him once. Oh no, this is bad because he's uh got his protection up now. Come on, mate. Come on. Stir. Oh no, it's unblockable now. Damn it, yeah, he's over 10 charges, so above that, I cannot siphon this node. But I can still, I, I still got three Furies, I still got some big damage. This should hit hard, this gets into a special two, I've then got to dodge that, because it will be fully unblockable. And uh, I appear to lack any sort of skill... <laughs> okay, nice. It's blockable now, so we, we take the block hits here and we can retaliate. Okay, again, dude. Again, let's throw it. Come on, mate. Come on. Fantastic. Um, nice. I just about, by a little bit, managed to uh, get my heavy off there. Fantastic. Keep the damage going. If I use the special two, I think it gets in during protection. Awesome. Okay. Come on, dude. Throw it one more time. Fortunately, not in frenzy anymore. But we can still we can still hit pretty hard without frenzy. Okay, he's unblockable now though. Slightly later dodge, we actually got it that time. <laughs> okay, I, I messed up to what that wasn't a could have been better. It could have been better, man. I've definitely got a bit of bit of intra practice that is urgently needed. But I do think we can actually finish that off of uh, Mole Man without a res torch, which is going to get a bit wasted here. Um, I think I probably want to save my healing potions for Bahamut. So yeah, I think 40% revive on Mole Man should be should be good here. I feel like that's the, the right play to make. Let's give it a go. And then we can finish this off. And then I think Clairvoyant should be able to do the next two fights. I just need to remember to block those ones uh, a little bit earlier. But guys, thank you so much for all the, the support today, man. It's been been a little bit wild. Okay, let's block that. Heavy attack at the end. Oh, wasn't quick enough. It's unblockable now. Oh, wait, wait. I think, because I had neutralized, I think it stopped the unblockable from triggering. But I maybe had income in. Get the slightly later decks. Perfect. Okay, unfortunately he's got protection up now. Slightly unfortunate. Come on. Okay, if I can take the last two hits of this, get like a uh, two stacks Fury. Get the striker in. Oh no, he's gone unstoppable. Come on, mate. Dude, get in the bin. <laughs> The wrench is so annoying to fight. I can't believe Evie just had that up his sleeve. Oh, we got him down. <laughs> there's there's too much to play around on Rincher with that node, man. Oh, okay. I'm glad we got through that though. Yo, what does that Mr. Mega Beast do? Thank you very much for the two dollar super chat, sir. And all the support on the channel, man. I know you've been knocking about for a hot minute, sir. So I hope you uh, you're doing well today. Yo, what's up, MSD? Yeah, I hate, dude, slow projectiles, they always throw me off. I I like the quick ones to uh, evade, it's just like a sharp little dash back. It's, um, what was the OG slow projectile? I think it was like Doctor Strange's special too. Just got that really slow fire and missile. Dude, that's, that messed me up so much when we were in, uh, 
OG Labyrinth of Legends against that Doctor Strange boss. I always found him the one of the worst bosses because of that. Okay, I definitely need to be blocking the um, special one. Okay, nice. We got some big heals off that. That was awesome. And he's going to trigger his uh, protection soon. He got clipped there. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's get debuffs on. Don't think I can block the special two, right? Oh, I can. I'm quite late elf, so... So I need to be a bit careful. If you want to stay at close range and try and block SB1, <laughs> that is difficult. Okay, heavy attack. There we go. I think if we fire this off... Oh, it's probably way too ambitious. Get the power drain. Oh, no! Wait, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, how do I get health back now? Because <laughs> that's like the second thing i got to resolve here. I just got the, the cheat death. Um, yeah, I need to change stance, but I can't without hitting the boss with Thorn's Node. Ah, that, was, that was okay there. It could have gone worse. Um, I think what I may do here... There seems to be a lot of value in the, the team revive, especially if I may have any problems with Chavez. Plus, I got to use the team revives as well. So I might just go in with uh, a bit of Mole Man and just uh, talk, just, just get any damage we can, and then I'll uh, team revive the three of them. Because I'll probably also need to buy another bundle, so I'm going to have like a big stack of like 10 team revives just instantly going overflow. So, where is that? But I'm, I'm really going to get nothing out of this. Because the, the Thorns node, I just, I don't have a way to ramp up unless I got like a little bit of buffer health. And again, I'm somewhat limited on health potions. And uh, I need to do the 8-2 boss 100%, so. Might be able to finish it off with Torch with a little bit of luck here. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, let's get it, dude. Let's get it. <laughs> I actually, I didn't think we'd actually manage to pull that off. Uh, but hey, here we are, man. Here we are. That was, that was clutch, dude. That was so close. Yeah, I, I'm glad I made the decision to just... Um, Sacrifice them all for the team revive. <laughs> Dude, we, we ain't lasting like a second in this fight, man. I'm gonna die like straight away from the thorns damage. Yep, there we there's the thorns damage. Oh the thing as well is like I don't have a striker with torch. So that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna die anyway. Um okay, so let's use uh, team revive just to be just to be sure here. Because you still have Chavez, who's pretty annoying, and also a uh, Thorns node. And I think we'll, we'll go in with Torch first. Like, man, we've got moderate feelings about Torch here. Is Mole Man actually good? Dude, Mole Man's great. It's nothing but top level Mole Man appreciation on this channel. Okay, I think. Does Chavez have like two hits on her special one? Yeah, it's actually super easy to block that second one because it's got massive range as well. I'm ramping up so much on Torch that my Incinerate's actually going to uh, passives. Okay, right. He's been have a special. Come on. Oh no, I got clapped. Um... <laughs> oh, dude, I got tagged and bagged there, man. Uh, at least we got a bit. I should have got more out of that try, though. 
Uh, so yeah, that was unfortunate. But I think we'll go for... He's going to be a bit useless on the boss. I think we'll go Mole Man next and then finish off with Black Widow if we can. And the torch is only rank two, so if you have a um, a higher rank torch, you can go for some very plus a striker equip. You can go for some very very jammy plays. I don't think I'd a spare science one for him. Oh, this ain't getting too well. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, I lost too much space, and if you lose space against Chavez, man, you just uh, you're getting your cheeks clapped. I don't think I've still got the immortality up from Heimdall. Yeah, I think it just expired. That was just a bad try, dude. That was really bad. Right, let's move on to um, trying to finish this off with Black Widow. Okay, yeah, we got the Thorns node, so we got a heavy attack. Let's stay in blood so we can heal. Hopefully get a really nice heal off the uh, the first SP1. That was in a good spot. It does feel quite unnatural to... Uh... <laughs> I just find myself trying to, like, naturally avoid the specials that I'm used to, man. Okay, we got a block. Block the special. Come on, please use it. Please use it. Please use the special. Oh my god, she tagged me there. <sighs> use your goddamn special attack, mate. Come on. Okay, I'm getting too far away now. Okay, I needed those to survive. But this is going to get her to a special 2, which also puts me in a pretty bad spot. Because I think it is unblockable. Oh no, it's not unblockable. Oh, it is, it is. Oh, dude, I dodged the first two hits, but I missed the last one. Just didn't get the timing on that right. Okay, I think for safety again, we're going to be 10 uh, team revives and overflow if we buy another 1k bundle. So, uh... <laughs> uh, I wish I'd have died. I, I, this Charmers, man, has caused me the most problems of all the path, but... I think I'm just not playing close enough. That it's just causing me a few problems. Okay, we still got Fury. I right, was still getting tagged by that second hit, man. So that should be enough. Hey, dude. That was all right. That was a little bit, a little bit redeemed. Not too much, though. Let's go for the boss. Hopefully get a clean one shot on the Ronin boss. Um, I think we're going to tag out Torch. Let's get in Odin here. So capture select. And we're going to bring in Odin. And then we have the... Uh, what was it? All the base buffs to just overpower this node. And uh, get on with it. But yeah, this path, almost dead. The Ronin boss, I don't remember being Touchwood too bad, but we'll uh, we'll find out shortly. You think you just completely avoided the Furies on block specials node when you went through it? Absolute beast. <laughs> I think the the slight... Um, what was it? The thing I have on my free-to-play account is uh, all the, uh, the champions are a little bit lower rank. Pretty much all my characters are kind of ranked to uh, rank three. But 
there's uh there's a lot more uh buffer room you get both for like the damage you deal and damage you take if you got like six star rank four champions okay right let's give this a go so i just need to use heavy attacks right to get uh through rising sun and then with the odin ability we counter uh, give me shelter and then oh, also he's going to be unblockable uh whenever he's parry stunned as well it's got the uh the water node so yeah i just want to take this one a bit slower if i recall Get rid of the Rising Sun node. Oh, is this going to be too many hits? Just got to parry after this. Very quick heavy. There we go. Okay, nice no DG gem for us on that one. Almost there, we're halfway through. A bit too keen with the Rising Sun node on the last one. We get just another two hits into the block. Get the unblockable. Double Fury. And there we go, dude. There we go. Ah, oh, I'm glad that fight's down. I'm glad we didn't get wrecked on that boss, eh? We managed to one-shot that today. Definitely got a bit wrecked on that path, though, man. <laughs> we did the last path itself without any uh, revives, but the boss... And that's one. That's one out of three for Paragon. So we just need... Uh, we need two more now. So those are actually what I thought were going to be the easier paths. So now we're moving on to the harder ones. So a little bit terrified, but we'll see what happens. Um, I guess, actually, this one potentially isn't too bad. But it can be uh, annoying. So we've got the, the Villain's Poison Path. I want to bring Hulkling. I want to bring um, uh, a Mega Sentinel as well for this one. And then who else is I looking at for options? Because you actually don't need a perfect counter to this note. As long as you're willing to fight the opponents that when they're unblockable like all of the time. <laughs> so, well, we'll see. Okay, we've got to talk to VD. So this one is like the Henchman. Uh, parry vulnerability. So if you do parry, however you're going to have debuffs on you, they're going to make uh, the opponent unblockable. But if you generate a fury, you um, get rid of those. Yeah. I think I think I might bring crossbones in one slot. I know Mega Sentinel is going to be like my option for getting through Abomination. But later on, I think crossbones is going to be quite nice. Um, I don't really have like an amazing option for this path because the problem is with crossbones as well is like he's not even rank one like fully leveled yet. And then for the boss we need uh We want uh Hulkling I think Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just use Hulkling, and then we get like a 40% power booster. We get Nullify immunity for bits of it as well. So I think Hulkling actually worked out quite well. Oracle. I, I think maybe I accidentally soloed her with like Odin. <laughs> or like I got close to a solo or something. Um, so yeah, I feel like that worked out nicely. But uh, Hulkling is also a, an option for that Abomination. I think we go in with a Mega, and we kind of like bring Hulkling as a backup. And then for the next bosses, we kind of just want good characters that can play unblockable. 
Black Widow's not bad for that. Um, one. I'm just gonna like double check my my villain options here. See, we got a Pock. The problem with a Pock as well is he's not uh, he's not like fully uh, jacked up. Yeah, I do have uh, Titania as well. He's potentially a bit of an option. But she also doesn't have. You need a passive fury, so. Um, yeah, she didn't have that. Let's type in uh, Titania there instead of villain. Right, let's go villain. Let's select the tag. So you need two things. You need a villain and also an actual fury buff and not a passive fury. So that's the problem with Titania. I think Mole Man can still work nicely because he can just shrug off the debuffs anyway. So I imagine he's pretty solid. Worst case scenario, we can just brute force everything with Hulkling. So there is that. Yeah, even even if they're villain tag, if they don't generate fury, they don't like bring anything special. So I, I think I'll just stick with what I got. I think the power difference is so big between the Black Widow and also the survivability difference as well between Black Widow and Crossbones. Because Crossbones, he's just, he's got like nothing in him, you know? He's just going to get clapped if I mess up. Whereas Black Widow, we got, we got a lot of room to come back, man. We got a lot of room to come back. But I need to play this uh, first fight against Abomination quite well here. So we'll see if we can um, get a nice ramp up on Omega Sentinel. Don't you only gain a fury from the node if you um parry though? So don't you have to like shrug off and then um because that the par the fury you get is not related to um the villain tag. It's just like getting additional furies. Yeah, because you actually need to land a parry. And when they're unblockable, you can't parry, I think anyway. I was I was testing it out earlier. And yeah, that's the conclusion I arrived at. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm missing something. Because it only shrugs it off in uh, in advance. Because, yeah, we can gain the Fury here. But then it doesn't prevent him, as you can see, from, like, becoming unblockable. So I don't think that helps us out. Because you want somebody that is generating, like, new Furies and then shrugging it off. So you get rid of his unblockable. So, yeah, Crossbones go is basically... But he's also not poisoning me. Now. I don't think without the awakened ability, it wouldn't be enough to uh, kind of keep up with the node. Okay, right. I'm going to restart this. I actually managed to get a solo on this this morning, but dude, that was terrible. That was really bad. <laughs> okay, let's let's do it again, boys. Take two. Take two. The goal is to parry, bake special one, parry, repeat. Um, I did. I did try something like that. I think it was it's still triggering the unblockable, even if I've got because I also need a poison immune character. Mega Sentinel, she's not immune to poison, but she doesn't take damage. But even on the next matchup, um I found because it says like three or more debuffs on the attacker. Um, but it was still doing the unblockable. Oh, maybe it's uh like the friggin' What was it? Maybe I was going for like a special two on the next fight early on. Okay, that's good to know, because it means Mole Man's actually going to be well sick. So yeah, he should actually work out really, really nice. But to be fair, that actually adds more value to Titania, so that's a really good point. Thank you for pointing that out to me, sir. So yeah, if I go Team Select... Because yeah, I think that was the problem. I was like rushing Special 2 on Dr. Voodoo and not like playing patiently. So if I swap Titania out for Black Widow, then Titania should be clutch. As long as I play a bit more slow. I, don't, I still don't have a good uh, option aside from Omega. And Omega's going to get the unblockable anyway just due to the fact that um, she doesn't actually remove the poison or get immune to it. <laughs> so we'll give it a go, boys. We'll give it a go. There we go. Yeah. You have a valid point, dude. Thank you very much for sticking with me, man. Some of these some of these node interactions, dudes, there's just so much to them and they can get like hella confusing. So I appreciate it. Right, I need to get my uh, debuffs up.
Dude, playing Omega Sentinel on a fully unblockable mode is uh is tricky. <laughs> there's a there's a lot to keep up. Okay, can we get back in the zone, man? It's just uh It's tough for the openings, boys. I think maybe I wanna go for a uh Special one and just get those like debuffs refreshed or something so I can get my uh, plasma stacks a bit higher. You don't have totally inset to buy that man. Yeah, I think I should go special one then special two. And just try and uh get the pauses. It's also hard because you, you want to uh ideally like backdraft on an opponent like this. But then you can't finish the combo to pause! <laughs> Pain in the ass, mate. What pain in the ass? Okay, I'm gonna pause, get my three D buffs, and then we're gonna get the plasma boys. Come on, let's go. It's only gonna give me two. Fine, it's almost done. I just gotta, I gotta keep up my uh, incredibly mid gameplay. We, we should be good. All right, come on, big fella. There we go. Nice. Let's get the pause. Should be three more. Oh, no, he tagged me, dude. Come on, get in the bin. The good thing is we actually managed to regen, uh, I think it was about close to like 30% health there, so that was, that was dope. Yeah, that fight could have gone a lot quicker. I am a very below average Omega Sentinel player, and she's she's so tricky to play against a fully unblockable opponent where you, like, you can't just throw heavies whenever you want. You can't do light combos and then intercept backwards, but... We got it done, boys. We got it done. We'll take it. <laughs> okay. Um, mole Man, I think. Let's go for a cheeky bit of Mole Man here. And I don't want to be too crazy aggressive with him, though. So we'll take it. As long as I don't get hit. Ain't too many debuffs. And we can shrug off both of these, right? I think Mole Man does anyway, dude. He's he's big chilling. But we can, as long as we don't get him to special two, we don't need to uh, activate the unblockable node. Come on, that should be just below right. Fantastic. I need to make sure I double parry. One. Oh, actually, I just I removed both. Sick. That's cool. Oh yeah, Mole Man working well for the timing on this. Because those parry heavies as well with the uh, the parry vulnerability node are just hitting so hard. We're just getting really consistent, like 25k every time. And then we, we've got to see a special one after this. Come on, dude.
Oh, I think we should be good to go in now and just tear him apart. We got, like, the striker if needed. But yeah, that's going to sort it out. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, more man's sick for this path. Dude, thanks for uh, clarifying the node for me, MSD. I, I certainly do appreciate it, man. Okay, right. Let's go for another booster. Uh, Track on 30%. And then we'll uh, power through Green Goblin. Green Goblin? Red Goblin. Uh, he's not immune to bleed, is he? Yeah, it's incinerating power burn. Am I forgetting something here? Because I, th I think Mole still going to be the best option. I did, yeah. Um, I should be able to get Paragon Justin because i got a plan. Like, I want to get through. I want to... Uh, am I right in thinking you need 10 Paragon Crystals for the solo event? And the... Um, the six free ones count toward it in order just to get the uh, the 2.5k um, seven star shards milestone. Because I was thinking of like smashing through that event once I get Paragon and then buying um, using 800 units to get four Paragon crystals and then doing like a uh, 10 Paragon opening. Hopefully we get something good. Hopefully we get another seven star. That'd be dope. Um, but yeah, it seemed like a good way or, or an alright way to spend uh, some units. Well, more of a fun way <laughs> than anything else, because it's still 800 units. It's just still a fair bit. But I think for, like, effort, um, you know, getting 7 star shards is just going to be really difficult for free to play for a very long time. So it seems like, you know, it puts me, like, another 25% of the way there. Like, the same effort as almost doing, like, 100% 8.2. Plus as well, you know, we still have a chance in those to uh, actually get it. No, the the bomb got us. Do we just need to wait out this one, right? And it goes away. Just wait out the incinerate. Got a striker if he comes in. Okay, let's go. And then we just reset the cycle. And this time we didn't get hit. I said that right as I got hit, mate. I'm trash. Does this make his attacks unblockable? I don't think it does. You know what? Screw it, mate. I'm just, I'm just gonna go for this. Should be enough. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, I, I'm literally thinking of just the first, um, the first milestone in there, the event. I can have a quick look at it now. Because I, I don't get the Alliance one, but the Seven Star Celebration. How to get points. Oh, okay, maybe it's a bit more than that then. Because it's what I need to get, 10k? Um, so yeah, what is that? That's more like I'd have to buy 1,400 units worth. Yeah, probably not worth then, man. Probably not worth. Just take the ones, uh, the free ones from the side event, and um, does that get me the milestone? I don't think it even gets me the, the milestone. I'm like 4,800. <laughs> Damn, dude. I thought we'd be a little bit closer. We'll see. We'll see. I, I might go for it. I might go for it. Mm. Depends if I want to grind those units back and what I need them for. Oh, it's it's kind, of, kind of borderline. I don't know. Because I think even with a um, thousand units, I think I can probably do everything I need to do in uh, what's it friggin' um, Act Eight. So yeah, we, we may have some units uh, lying about for that. Um, okay, I think I'm actually gonna go in with Mole Man, and if I die, I'm just gonna use a forty percent revive here. It would it would be quite fun. Maybe we get something good, you know? Maybe we get something really good. Plus, all of it is going to be ISO, and I do actually need a load of ISO on the free-to-play. So that would actually help my uh, account out a fair bit.
Dude, Mole Man was the right first rank four. Okay, we got this. Bring in the striker. Extend the combo. Oh, we got the got the heal. No chance though, mate. No chance. Not healing that much, are you, Chief? Dude, I can't believe we got through that on Mole Man without using a uh, freaking re revive there. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get clapped. Uh, but hey, we did it. We did it, man. Uh, we'll take it. Okay. Um. Wanted your refill. Tigra, I think we have to go Titania on this. We could probably do this path without using a revive now, potentially. Definitely just curse myself saying that. Tigra's much worse than a lot of the other opponents here, eh? Oh yeah, I don't want the knockdown, I want the parry. Is Titania not a villain? Am I an idiot? Yes. <laughs> I thought Titania was a villain, dude. I guess not. Um, We can still do this. Okay, I've got a play. It's a terrible play. It's a really, really, really bad play. I forgot what Tiger's special three does. I want to go for it anyway, though, you know? Let's get it. Okay, special three me, please. Special three. God damn it, dude. She didn't go for it. No! Now you... Oh, God. Mate, come on. You're having a laugh there. I left her so open. Oh, is she buff immune? Ah, oh, dude, that's uh, that's so annoying. <laughs> that's so annoying for this note. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe I could have recovered that if I was playing a little bit better. But okay, that's now we know, boys. Now we know. See, that's the the thing is I've got stuff too quickly on my uh, free to play. I don't I don't appreciate the the real value of certain stuff. Hmm. Okay, I think we go Omega Sentinel here. Right, Tigra, please stop pushing us back. Use your special attack, please. Come on. Just use it. Use it. Dude, I'm so open. I'm literally chilling. Mate, we could be having a picnic right now. That's how close we are. D doesn't want to use it, mate. Does not want to use it. And is now going to special to me in the corner merc mercilessly. <laughs> Dude, that was... That was BS, man. Like, screw... screw. It's not having it, mate. Not having it. Okay, we're going to go Mole Man. We're going to get a Mega Combo. And we're going to just win the game. Right, I'm so close, mate. Literally, you can use, the use it whenever you want. Use it whenever you want. Whenever. There we go. Only, you know, took took me right back to the wall. Really appreciate that, mate. It should be fine, though. <laughs> I hate fine Tiger. Do you know what? Was that... I think it was like the February event or something. You had to, like, solo Tiger of uh, Cosmic Champ, yeah. Oh, God, I got so salty on that one. I just about managed to do it, I think, on my last try with Gamora. On the highest difficulty... Um, but it's just a pain in the ass. I think Mike Moore is only ranked one then as well. But Mole Man, he stays winning. 
Okay, I think we can use a little, a little bit of health potion here. So use a few of these because we can get these back fairly easy. And then um, that should be enough buffer as long as I don't mess up. Which, um, you know, may or may not happen. Okay, we still want to uh, keep Anti-Venom and all our opponents at their special one. I right, just one tap into the block. Thank you, sir. I need to get the parry as well. Just so we can get the Mega Fury. Oh no, he's got the uh, the Spectre on me. Oh, is uh, Anti-Venom the real final boss here? Yeah, I see now, I see. This man's been disguised this whole time. But he's, he's ramping up his buffs on me. Okay, got dodge. Okay, nice, I got it. Smash out your intercept. Let's get it. Oh, okay, right. We're still in the game. We're still in the game. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. Throw that special one, son. Throw it. Come on, dude. Come on. Please, please, please. For the boys. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Those hands, dude, they're so big. <laughs> they're so big, and they just, uh, uh, they reached over and they ruined my day. But let's, uh, let's go again. Still nothing has been quite as soul-crashing as the uh, Eternity of Pain 100% stream, but it's been a few uh, necessary deaths here. Okay, I think I could probably kill him if he attacks into my block now. Cool. Yeah, we got that. Oh, dude, that was so easy, man. I wish I'd finished that off last fight. But hey, it is what it is. Another day we got to auto farm the old uh, the old quest. And we want to get in... Um, just very quickly double check here. Okay, cool. Just another cosmic then. I'm just thinking like, maybe Hercules, I think, potentially. Because that's what we want there. So if we go to character select. Let's uh, bring in Hercules. Just so he doesn't have some sort of... Because the other, like, Gamoran CGR require a bit of ramp up. I remember Odin, like, really wasn't great for this fight. Because he was just getting his raw damage. Because she nullifies all the things at the start. So yeah, if we go for Hulklin, we should be alright here. Oh, dude, my mastery setup is bad. Is really bad. <laughs> I, uh, hopefully with a bit of luck, and I reach Paragon in the next um, day in a bit. And then I will post my uh, mastery setup for the whole world to judge shortly after. So you may see the true greatness of free-to-play enjoy a 27 mastery setup that has literally nothing. But maybe, uh, maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be like inspiring or something. People will be like, wow, I've got all the good masteries. I'm gonna make it so much easier. But yeah, dude, willpower. Oh, I would have been so clutch for so many things. Despair. It's pretty goaded as well. Oh, I should have strike it on there, mate. Oh, dude, that was a bit of an L. At least we got the regen there, though. 
I do not know how to evade that. <laughs> I don't even know where to, like, start. Um, you know when you see one of those specials, you're like, yeah, that's, uh, I'm not getting that one. Okay, right, we got uh, three pierce buffs. Oh, no, we don't have any pierce buffs, but we got only two to the unblockable. So I had to block a couple of times. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, no, this is unblockable. Okay, it's fine. We got Hercules to finish off the match. We chill in. Dude, uh, I'm off to edit my own new account series uh, episodes as well. Thank you for the content, man. Have a great day. I certainly appreciate it, dude. Hopefully the editing goes well. And hopefully you get lucky on the account and don't get Giga Shafted, mate. So best of luck, sir. Is this the only boss in the game left on Awakened? I actually didn't even realize that until you pointed it out. It's an interesting uh, thing. I think there's a few other. I don't know. I know sometimes in quests they've left characters like um, Iceman. And ones with more like annoying awakened uh, abilities. Uh, I think. What was it? Back in the day, I think when they introduced Dormammu as the AQ boss, um, we had him unawakened, so we didn't have to deal with uh, the BSD gen ability. And everybody, you know, wouldn't immediately quit the game. I think I remember that. Yes, yeah, sometimes they do it. It's a little bit rare. But usually if they leave a boss unawakened, it's um, it's fairly attentional. Yeah. Oh, dude, past... I've been level 52, I swear, for like three months. Everything past like 50, unless you put on an XP booster and just uh, farm load of Act 4... Just, uh, it takes a hot minute to reach, so it takes a hot minute. Okay, nice. That is, uh, the third path done for today. I've got the final path in mind now I wanted to go for. Um, so let's go to quest number... Wait, which one is this? Is this quest number three? I've already done this one. Do the bosses, Jay fix it. Yeah, I think we've already done that. Maybe it's quest number five. Let me just uh, have a bit of a poke around. Ah, oh, yeah, it's quest number five, dude. Okay, I am relying uh, on Omega Sentinel here for this one. This this one it actually is the one by a significant margin that I'm looking forward to the least. Uh, really not looking forward to this Taskmaster at all. Hmm. Okay, so every time a regeneration buff or passive is activated, if the defender is not under a heal block effect, they gain a dormant vigor charge. Once the defender reaches 10 vigor charges, they're consumed, and the defender gains a passive unblockable. Yeah. And whenever the attacker blocks are hit from the defender's special attacks, you get the fury. Okay, so we've got to keep that in mind as well. Um, I think Taskmaster generally, he probably is going to suck a bit because uh, we can't like properly heal block him and then you've got Mr. Negative here who um, is just Mr. Negative he's just not a fun champion to fight and then you've got it's not a not fun champion to fight in normal modes dude and an aggressive regeneration cool not living our best life here are we and then uh, we finally got the Penny who we want the Odin synergy in with okay I think my three champions here for the path are Mega Sentinel, Mole Man, and then I can actually bring somebody in that's bursty. I also is going to have like the most immediate damage output if needed for aggression regen. Uh, I'm kind of thinking Hit Monkey probably. It's also unblockable. If, like, this one gets really bad, because, yeah, again, this is probably the path, out of all the paths I'm worried about the most, because aggression regeneration sucks. Torch, I don't think you can reverse healing on this one, so Torch, I think, is out of the question. Um, and then anybody else in the roster, I think it's just a little bit too low. Uh, there is also the Immortal Hulk, potentially. 
Saber and Task are a little annoying. What? My man can block on blockables. Ah, is it, was that at the cost of, like, uh, charges or something? Hmm. I managed to get Sabretooth down yesterday with Omega just in a practice run. I think, actually, if I'm going to jack up the Hulk, then I'm just going to bring an Odin and uh, do it right from the start. I, I think, like, if these characters can't get some of this done... Oh, actually, to be fair, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring in... I'm just thinking if, like, negative really is a problem, like, Hitmonkey's probably going to be goaded, and he ramps up so much quicker than um, Mole Man does. So, yeah, I think we'll we'll swap in uh, Odin, just because we only really need Odin for the final boss. So. It's just... Uh, there's a lot to think about. A lot of uh, lot of stuff at play when it comes to these uh, these bosses. But block specials, easy game, easy life. Uh, we're gonna switch to the start of heal block. Don't want to use any heavy attacks, or that's gonna switch. Uh, block special attacks. Keep the heal block active, and we should be Gucci boys. Play like the made of rubber path. I totally forgot. Oh, the Made of Rubber Path, was that the one that we just um, did, right? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, do we hit hard after that? Okay, to be fair, actually, I don't think I was properly like utilizing the, uh, the block node last night when I was doing this. Because <laughs> hell yeah, dude, we're cooking on gas now, mate. Yeah, maybe I should not have been as scared as I was feeling of this one. I'm just going to refresh my uh, heal blocks here. Oh yeah, this one really ain't too bad. Dude, MSD, thanks for the clutch guidance. Uh, I do appreciate that. Get you get me all hyped up for this node now, actually. I'm um a bit excited to see some of the interactions here. Okay. Yeah, I guess if you're playing quite uh, aggressively, I think Sabretooth's a bit of an additional problem because he cycles the um what was it? He cycles his passive regen so fast that it made this node, when I was playing it without heal block champions, seem scarier than maybe it is. Because they still got to get 10 stacks of aggression regeneration, so still actually takes them a hot minute to get that. I only got two, you know? It is, I got like three stacks now. Yeah, I'm probably going to get... Um, So we've got five Mega Furies. Oh, let's go. Oh, I mean, this is feeling great. I was worrying about nothing here, boys. Easy node, easy game, easy life. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, let's go, dude, let's go. This should kill because we got the, yeah, the bleeds. Yeah, I, I definitely over-thought this one so much. Okay, well, let's uh, maybe not try to get too out of ourselves for now. Let's just still stay uh, stay humble, eh, boys? But, yeah, that's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. Very pleasant surprise. Very, very pleasant surprise. Okay, we just got to get a Mega Red down. I don't think we gain the charges quite as fast here, so we'll see what we can do. Yo, what's up? Uh, Robin, very well, thank you, dude. Thanks for tuning in to uh, today's live stream. Right, let's go for the pause here. Get a refresh as well on these. I need to remember to block the SP one. 
<laughs> Usually focused on the Omega. Oh my god. Dude, you get these charges so quick. Oh, this is this is gonna be spicy. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Okay, I was a bit too far away then. Has that amplified the plasma, which then I can now just pause and uh, just... It's feeling pretty good. Um, who's the champion for the boss? It's Hulkling. I, I feel like Hulkling is also the best option maybe for next fight. So yeah, we'll... I think go for Hulkling. Everybody else is quite reliant on debuffs and bleeds. Because Hulkling doesn't rely on debuffs at all. That was crazy, man. That was so good. Yo, what's up, Daniel? Hopefully you're doing well. Okay, Taskmaster Special 1 should be a good one to bait out. Come on, fella. Oh. Okay, now it's time, mate. Use it. No, he's going way too high. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, somehow got a full evade on that. I'm still not quite sure how, I must admit. I need to get like a million direct hits on this man now, though. Okay, we're coming back, swing in. Okay, he's unblockable. Um, I think if I chain this on, it might be enough to kill him, actually. Dude, that was clutch. <laughs> yeah, that dude. I'm happy Taskmaster's down. I thought he was definitely going to be the uh, the worst. We'll see, Mister uh, uh, Mister Sinister should be pretty good. Um, do my debuffs get reflected though? I think they do. So yeah, I think I should avoid using plasma on Mister Sinister, but I can use. Just spam special one, I think. Oh, we weren't going for easy to avoid there. This is a node where we actually want to get hit by there, the special attacks. It's a bit of a bit of a weird one. Because then we get a massive fury like this, and then we can uh get slapping. Okay, we want to... Right, I think we'll just uh, all track this off. Oh... That's really unfortunate. He's actually got one plasma. This could kill me um, if he uses a special one. Oh, no, we're good. It, oh, yeah, consumed it on the, uh, the special um, three. So I'm really bad at managing uh, Mega Sentinel's uh, resources. Get the refresh. Uh, should be able to get a nice block here. Get loads of damage. Just four. If the refresh, we're going to stick to light ending combos. Sorry, not the refresh, the pause. Okay. Three more. Pause again. Right, come on, Chief. Maybe got one more of those. 
to block in me. I've still got the Heimdall synergy as well, so. Let's go. I do really like that special three. Just looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, I got way too much plasma from somewhere. It's fine. We're chilling. <laughs> Dude, that plasma was hitting hard as well. Okay, I do, I'm really, really glad we got that down without dying. That's um, fantastic because it means we can perfectly swap in, um, what is it, Odin to Omega's uh, place after this. And I think this is going to be our, our last uh, path for today. I've got to go on a bit. I'm getting to the, the cinema with my dad um, this evening. Taking him to see Guardians of the Galaxy. So um, I'm looking forward to that. It's I've already seen it though, but he hasn't seen it yet. So I, I'm just, I'm excited to watch it a second time, man. One of my favorite uh, movies in a, in a minute. Um, okay, I think we start off with Mole Man here. How do I fight Mr. Sinister? I don't get giga wrecked by the reverse controls is the main thing. I forgot exact. I think it's like special one is. What does it look like? Show me it. Well, that's pretty chill. Oh, unfortunately, I'm not hitting him enough to uh, manage these charges really well. We've got three. I'm just. I'm going to take my opening here and just get damage while I've got the uh, three um, Furies active. Right, come on, Chief. Oh, no, that's fully unblockable. This is not going to end well. He's even going to regen a lot here. Um, we should quite easily survive this. We still got the Heimdall synergy. I don't think it's even going to deal enough to kill us, to be fair. But it's giving me, like... Dude, look. Wow, where's the length on this reverse control thing? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Just power up. Dude, I suck at playing with reverse controls. Well, I've learned a very valuable lesson about pushing uh, Mr. Negative to his special three, which I then proceeded to immediately just do again. Oh, uh, we're still alive? Okay, my revolt controls are probably reversed for a significant period of time. Come on. There we go, dude. There we go. We still got the kill. It's it's when, like, they're reversed. It's like, okay, you kind of, like, shift gears in your head. Um, If they're reversed for, like, that long... But it's when they're reversed for like a few seconds. Dude, that's that's when it messes you up. And they're just like, you know, it's going back and forth between regular and uh, reversed. Yeah, I just uh, get clapped when that happens. Okay, right, let's go to character select. Uh, we're going to bring in Odin now for Penny Parker. Um, so character select. And let's grab Odin here uh, in place of... Make a sentinel, and then we got the pre-fight. Apply all the buffs to Hulk Lynn. Get around the auto block node, and we're big chilling, boys. We're big chilling. Will there be any big opening today? Unfortunately, not. Uh, we've just been grinding out resources, but there should be um, later this week or at the weekend uh, at least a small Paragon Crystal opening from the free-to-play account. I'm going to do the, uh, once I get Paragon, I'm going to do the, uh, the shooting stars event. I could do it now, but I want to get, I want to get Paragon first. Because we're, we're really not too far off. And then, uh, tomorrow we're going to do a bit of a, uh, not, uh, sorry, either Friday or Saturday, we're going to do a bit of a, a longer stream. And, uh, do the, the final boss of, um, 8-2 again, because I've got a path, an incinerate path I've got to do there. But Tech, thank you very much for the super chat, sir. I certainly do appreciate that. Heimdall saving as always, dude. He's the goat, man. The absolute goat. Digestives, jammy dodgers, or shortbread fingers. Oh gosh, I like a good, um, I like a digestive. To be fair, you know, like the plain ones, ones with a bit of chocolate. Shortbread fingers, not the one, chief. Not the one. Jammy dodgers, on occasion, mate. You know, on occasion, I'll be in the mood for a jammy dodger. These are all uh, biscuits in England, by the way. For uh, any anybody outside of England that might maybe confused as to. What that uh, <laughs> is in relation to. All right, let's get the charges up. Main thing is we've just got to uh, maintain control of uh, Penny's shield. 
and not get clapped by also block. So when it's down, we can nuke. But it's about to come back up again, so I want to bait out her block. Just the purple one. Okay, cool. And then Hulk Lane, like, he can get rid of it real quick. Oh, I should have tapped, like, twice more into that. Dude, I got wrecked by an old-school combo of the AI faking me into heavy, me getting to punish, and then getting intercepted by a special there. I was too busy looking at... I'm too busy like, looking at the right-hand side of the screen. I'm, like, not keeping track of my charges very well. <laughs> and then, like, I don't know where I'm at in my Hulkling rotation. So, yeah, I keep on uh, messing up some, some pretty easy openings here. Okay. Um, will this even break? I guess it doesn't really matter if it breaks or not. Oh, but it does anyway, cool. Because, yeah, we get unblockable for this hit. Alright, just going to get a block in. Um, do we get punished here? Yeah, we do. Luckily, we got back. Just quick enough. I'm fighting Penny Parker like a sick beast, but I've died, <laughs> died to much, much easier champions. Quite a few times today, man. Okay, there we go. We can smash through it. Um, we're quick enough to get the striker out as well. Yep. And then we should be able to combo on to win. <laughs> Oh, dude, I should have just sent it for that final hit. No. Okay. We got Hulkling's actual indestructible trigger. No, the incinerates. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> what a disaster. Uh, any... Oh, man. Uh... <laughs> 571 health. You're having a laugh. Well, it was, it was a good try, guys. At least we didn't die instantly. And at least we didn't have to use uh, any revives on that one. So we'll uh, <laughs> we'll take it there. Uh, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching today, man. We got four paths down. We are getting mega, mega close to um, getting that uh, next rank three now. I think this is going to form maybe the second... Um, the second, uh, what was it, tier, tier six uh, basic? So yeah, I've got now uh, three in my inventory. I got two in overflow, same with the tier two alpha. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in a couple of days time. Um, once also the new side event, cause the, the next chapter of the, uh, what is it? Like the Guardians of the Galaxy escape or whatever it's called there uh, this month is going live soon. Uh, so yeah, we just need one more tier 6 basic, one more tier 3 alpha, a load more tier 5 basic. So we're going to do like a big final stream and um, uh, gather up all of those resources. Uh, and then make a push to Paragon. So it should be uh, a couple of days away. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very much for the assistance today. Thank you to MSD and so many chads in the chat just holding my hand through this content. Uh, thank you very much to Scott, Jim Barino, everybody that sent across the Super Chat today. Really do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. That'd be great. you appreciate it. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll just wait a second for the live stream to end. But yeah, cheers, everybody. <laughs> thank you all very much.